everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making Jupiter. Jupiter is a remake. This is Pumpkin Spice. And it's not your traditional pumpkin scent. It's the spices of a pumpkin pie. So cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, there isn't any pumpkin in this, but this is a favorite. It's very, very popular, and it sells very, very fast. This is one of the only holiday-specific soaps I am going to be making this year. I am running out of... Oh, that's the wrong one. Dagnabbit. No, it's not. Ha <laughs> ha. Just kidding. Gosh, that was... Um, I'm tired. I've been making a lot of soaps. Um, I'm on batch... I don't know, 47? Hmm. Okay, not 47, but it certainly feels like it. I have a total of 11 batches to make today. I have three left, so what's that? Eight? Yeah, I've done eight, so I'm on batch number nine. This is white. Doing it a little differently, hello, this year because I'm adding the, the dark color. Normally I keep this pretty light, but I wanted it dark um, to represent the cinnamon. This is the perfect color. I blended a whole bunch of colors together. And I wanted something a little pumpkin-y. But not like orange. Alright, am I in? Yes. You sure? Yes. Because if I'm not, I'm going to blame you. And we are in our seconds now. Seconds now? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Try to get as much of it. Are we recording? Yes. Okay, here's Jupiter. I haven't watched the video back yet, but I know I didn't get a whole lot of the making of Jupiter in the video. Unfortunately, um, but Jupiter set up really fast on me yesterday, which is unusual. I usually have a lot of time to swirl, so we'll see what it looks like. It still smells really good. There's one in piece. Can you see? Yeah, a little closer. Yeah. Okay. Some air pockets, but I'll fix those. You're not surprised. So I added, um, I keep Jupiter pretty much the same color scheme every year, but this year I went ahead and added some cinnamon color to, um, well, just to play off the cinnamon in the fragrance. I like the top. Yeah, it's cool. This came out better than I expected. You know, because when it starts to sit up, you just never know what you're going to get. And I was trying to squish it pretty good. That one's gorgeous. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, look at that one. Whoa. A little bit of an air pocket, but... Catch that right up. And then with some planing, it'll smooth it all out. 
I do smooth out all of my bars before I wrap them. I just like a smooth bar soap, unless it's like my coffee soap or something. It smells really good. Mm -hmm. I love this one. I was going to do just a small batch, and my girls talked me into doing a big one, and I'm glad they did, because this one sm uh, sells so fast. It's definitely one of our favorites. Last piece. So this soap will be cured around October 15th, 2015, and will be available on my website at stargazersoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.